Hey everyone, today I'm working on some venting modifications for the Crypto Shed. Now this came in the two piece, the front louvers and then the back louvers. Well I decided to cut out the back louvers, as you can see sitting right here, it does have vent holes into it, but it's pretty restrictive. The second I cut those out and put the fronts back on, oh my god, the amount of airflow increased uh, three times easily, and it should still have enough protection against wind and rain. That we don't have to worry about anything getting inside so while those are off and i cut those out first i also need to cut some filter material that uh chump change recommended although mine's green not per not blue like his um i'm painting those white covers so they don't look so god awful it was just a six dollar can of paint i got from home depot ryan gray gloss this way it should relatively match the crypto shed and after two coats, and I'm letting them bake in the sun here for a while, this is what they look like. Not bad at all. They are pretty dry, but I do want to let them bake for a few hours before I put it back together. So, what we're going to do now is get those filters cut out, and I might have to put, like, a little bit of a brace inside here, just like a cross or something inside, to keep it from falling in, since I cut all that out. Okay, in my classic style of trying to go as cheap as possible, yeah, I'm just trying some uh, zip ties right across here to keep the uh, filter from falling in. And I already cut the first piece of filter fabric right here, and it fits in there perfectly, and I can still feel the air easily blowing through there, even with this one being still fully open. So let me cut the second one here, and we'll keep going. Okay, vape check. Yeah, it still sucks. And there you go. Now I got the gable vents reinstalled onto the front. Uh, it gives it kind of a two-tone look. I knew it wasn't going to exactly match up the color, but it's definitely a lot more pleasing to the eye, having both uh, a forms of gray instead of gray and then like a bright white. So, and it makes it a little less conspicuous. So let's open it up. And you can see I got the zip ties holding in the filters basically um, they're working quite nicely. Same deal with this side. Yep, perfectly fine. Uh, I'm not ready to talk about all the cardboard yet. I'm still testing some hot aisle, cold aisle styles. That will be for another video in the future. So, yeah, if you have any ideas, go ahead and leave comments down below of how else I could do this. Plus, uh, if you've watched this before, yes, I have the one 16-inch 2500 CFM fan over here. I have ordered... A second one, which will go. Decide to just put it on the opposite side, right here. That will probably be in in the next week or two. That's coming by a slow boat. So, thanks for watching. Let's close this door. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any ideas for the hot and cold aisle, go ahead and leave those in the comments for me, please. I appreciate it. And I will catch you on the next video.